First grade is the best show on the internet. With Bowtie, Platypus, Yassi, Rowlet, and Baby. Hooray! Bye. Why do you guys need me here again? All right, so I got this from my machine. It says, he is alive, Bowtie, from the Green Mean Demon. And I don't know what this is supposed to mean. I you guys any ideas? Maybe you should flip it on the back. Maybe there's something there. Gary Belch, come find us. What is that supposed to mean? I got one idea. <laughs> it must be on here. Gary, no. Gary Belch. Hmm. What the hell? Hey, yo! What's your search history, bro? There's one more place to go. The library. Who wants to come with me? You're still a nerd. Hey, kids! You wanna come in the back and get some books with me? I know you! I know you! Oh, it's you. How did my lemonade taste? It tasted like piss. Stop touching. Wait, you're that guy who pissed in a cup and called it lemonade. What are you doing here? Well, so, since I've been arrested the first time for selling you guys piss, I've been watched by the police and they've been checking my search history. And let's just say, once I found out what I, uh, been searching, I've been back in jail, and now I'm doing some community service by working at the library. You're an idiot. Anyways, I know you're a nerd, so just go find your books. Wow, look at all these books! Yeah. Cool. Okay, you guys go look here. I'll go look somewhere else for them. Two goddamn hours late. I didn't find anything. <laughs> I didn't find anything either, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I got uh, you said it's it's okay. Oh, Jesus <laughs> you said it's okay. I bet <laughs> piss guy has a computer where he can search up where the book is, right? Uh, sure. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay. You're getting cooked. Hey, uh, Mr. Uh, piss and Cup Guy. Uh, we weren't able to find the, the book we were looking for. Oh, what's the name of the book then? Okay, uh, think it's. There we go. What was the name of the book again? Just. Look up something about Gary Belch. God, son of a There. God, the fuck. The disappearance of Gary Belch. It's in the back. See, I told you you should come to the back with me as soon as I came. You, you came here. All right, I found the book. I'll only give it to you if you do one little thing. <laughs> Alright, are you ready to eat some green beans? Yeah! Well, just jump in this pit, and you'll find some. Ha! You idiot! I tricked you! I'm gonna eat you alive! 
See, I haven't eaten anything besides dream beans in this goddamn place for years. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Please don't eat me. Anyways, do you want to know why I brought you here? Basically, I've been here for years since the year I've been here since 1959. You know how long it's been? The only thing I've ate in this dimension is green beans. That's all they grow here. They literally turned me into this. I used to be a duck like you. My name was Gary Belch. Here, sit down. I'll tell you my backstory. Okay. All right, I found the part about Gary Belch. So, kid, have you heard about the space race? Uh, yeah. Well, on November 19th, 1959, I and a couple of my scientific friends, their names was Fred, Tom, Felina, and Tom. I already said Tom. I'm fucking stupid. Anyways, we were able to track down a machine that we were going to use to get to the moon during the space race. Yeah, you already said that. Anyways, we, tra we were able to track it down, and we used it. So, the way the machine worked is I would type, you would type two or more, how many you want, letters into a keypad that was on the machine, and it, a pipe would come out, it was green, and you would go in, and it would send you to that dimension. So I typed in the words, or letters, GB, for my initials, Gary Belch. And I was put into this land, which I now call Dreamy Land, because all that I see is green beans and fungus that made me look like this. Anyways, I was stuck there for like three months until they were finally able to work out the machine again. And my friend Tom went to come save me. But since I became hostile, I decided to rip his body in half and eat the other half. Because all I ate here was green beans! Anyways, since then, I've been lurking down people who love green beans. And once there's someone who loves green beans so much, like you, who just got married, I'm able to go to your dimension for just a little bit to kidnap somebody. And that's what I'm gonna do to you! So after a while, I'm gonna end up killing and eating you! Wow, that sounds kind of stupid. Anyways, can I go now? No, you can't go, idiot. I'll give you three days for your friends to find you. After that, you're dead! Okay. So, oh, can I have my phone? I, I don't want to be bored while during this. Are, are you stupid? You're, you're about to die, and you asked for your phone? Yeah. Fine. Hey, Woody, what'd you get from the book? All right, what I got so far is that there was a scientist guy who basically turned into this yellow monster name, which they nicknamed the Green Mean Demon. Which, you know, we got from that note. Anyways, since then, Fred went to rehab. And he's currently writing his diary every single day in rehab. You know, since he saw such a horrific event. So, I have an idea. Maybe we can track him down and find him and ask more questions. What? Guys! Guys! We have a clue! Okay, what is it? So, we learned who Gary Belches. Anyways, he is the one who's named the Green Meat Demon, like it says on the letter. Anyways, he has a friend named Fred something, I don't remember. Anyways, he's still alive, and he's in rehab because he witnessed the whole thing happen from, you know, Gary Belch turning into this, apparently, this demon. So anyways, we're gonna go track him down. Okay, we'll stay here. Hey, welcome to Returns Rehab. What one of you got both of their parents killed in a car accident and then couldn't cope with it? Why are you being so specific? Well, that's one of our patients. That's what happened to one of our patients. But anyways, what do you guys want? Uh, so... We've tracked down this guy named Gary... 
fuck. We were researched this guy, his name is Fred Codwell. Uh, we're wondering if, you know, he's available to, uh, interview. Oh, Fred! Fred! So, uh, yeah, I mean, technically you could, because unlike some people here, he's not a, you know, a serial killer. So anyways, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hey! You don't work here, I do! Huh? <laughs> uh, Mr. Codwell? Oh, what the fuck? Are you the guys delivering my oatmeal and water today? No, we came here to ask you some questions about, uh, a guy named Gary Belch. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Gary? I haven't heard that goddamn name in years. Well... We, um, we got a note from someone apparently named Gary Belch, so, can we ask you some questions about what happened to him? Uh, oh, fine. It was sometime in November. We were scientists from NASA, and we were able to track down a, a machine that was able to, uh, win the space race. Any, anyways... Gary was the one who found the discovery, so he was the first one to try it. We- he got lost somewhere in some dimension. It was some mach dimension that was like... Green bean dimension or something. I, I don't know. Anyways, after like three months, we were able to open the machine again, and we were able to find him. Until my friend, Tom, was attacked by him. And he was killed by who I supposedly call- WHAT THE FUCK?! WHAT THE FUCK IS THAT BUG DOING?! Oh! Oh fuck, so sorry, that was Bobby. He was my pet, uh, cockroach. Anyways... Oh. Anyways, we rolled the track and down, but he killed- Supposedly, Kerry killed Tom. So, we scrapped the project and we, we, I gave it to my great-grandson. Great grands. Grandpa? Who the fuck? I, I can't fucking see out of my eyes. Can't you fucking see? Anyways, are you my fucking grandson? Yeah. Yeah. It, how did I not realize? No, it's another blood twist. Okay, so I know you guys might be mad at me for uh, lying, but. <sighs> That guy's my grandpa, and I didn't actually make the dimension machine. He actually just passed it down to me. That's right! Lines of fucking sin, Johnny boy! Ugh. Uh, my name's not Johnny. What the fuck, it isn't? What is it then? It's Woody. Okay, well, uh, what else do you want? Well, can you give us any more details? Well,. You see, all I fucking eat at this place is dry ass oatmeal and goddamn weeks old water. So if you go give me something to eat that's actually good tasting, then I'll answer more questions. Now get the fuck out of my face. Food. Welcome to Return's gas station, cause. Don't ask. Okay, do you have food? For... Food? How about you take this? And since I'm like, Mr. Beast and shit, I'll give it to you for free. See, I said shit because I'm actually shit. Alright, have a nice day! Whatever. What the fuck any fucking shit? Is that food? Or is that a fucking liking log? Uh, Grandpa, we just got it for free. Just fucking eat it. I'll make the whole fucking thing full. Or just, I don't know. Grandpa? Oh, oh, your grandpa's dead. He died while choking on a fucking Link mug. <laughs>
Grandpa! <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> do you not do CPR? I'll gladly do it. That's not CPR, bro! Stop pulling those pants! Grandpa! <laughs> he's dead. God damn it, Ethan! You don't have, you even know how to take anything seriously! My grandpa's dead! I'm giving him CPR. That's I you gotta grab the pipe you and don't you know how to him. do anything! <laughs> Why? It's not a cigar! Why is his beard like that? <laughs> <laughs> once I light it, you'll, it'll Darn, come back. Then I'm dying bees. You'll come back once I light it. It's okay. not a fat blunt, it's just a blinking log. Wait the fuck up! <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm actually a doctor. Yes, he's actually dead. But since I'm a doctor, I'm gonna charge you 1.5 million dollars just for that. Guys, I killed my fucking grandpa. Yay! How would you kill your grandpa, you fucking idiot? You were there, you dumbass. And sponsor Norwalk. What the f- Okay, that sounds really cool. I hate old people. I think to make this go by faster, we should split into groups. So I'll stay with Easton and sponsor Norwalk. Then Yasi, Red Yoshi, and Dylan, and then Leafy, Parker, and Rowlett. I'm thirsty. Let's go to the bar. Yay! Uh, of course they went to the bar. See, that's what happens when you let Yasi join us. Well, my dimension traveler machine thing. It's it's at the bar anyways, so <sighs> whatever. Alright, me, Easton, and Sponsor Narwhal are gonna go look for look for parts to fix the machine. You three, you can go ask more people like we did yesterday if they've seen Bowtie. Alright, that sounds fine. Let's go guys. Welcome to Little Ducky's Bar. We have hot women and male strippers. I love male strippers, like Rowlet. Of course you would. All right. Oh, guys, I remember Woody told me that he left his machine here, so maybe you should go look for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? Wow, I love this beer as much as I love my male strippers. Hey guys, uh, you see, um, there's some people up there. Maybe we can ask them if they know where Woody's machine is. Hey, yo, sirs, do you know where Woody's hides his naughty, naughty machine? Wow, I've never seen a red male stripper before. Well, I don't care. Get over here. Yo, 69, you know who that is? That's Dylan. For those stupid scumbags. We should beat the shit out of him. Yeah. No, you don't understand. I'm just using them to sell stuff on the black market. Excuses. Hey, Corny. What the fuck is up, guys? <laughs> Help us beat the shit out of Dylan. Who the fuck is Dylan? He's the blue guy. Oh, I hate people who don't have the same color as me. Hmm, where would I get parts for my machine? I know, I know. Where? I don't understand. Why do you want me to work for you? Well, you know how to kill people. I found out that the hard way. And also, you have connections to the person I'm looking for. Bowtie. Yes. Why do you want Bowtie? He embarrassed me. I was supposed to be the strongest one 
I was supposed to be the cool. Everyone was looking up to me until your stupid friend made me look like a, a weak, a weak piece of shit. I was supposed to be invincible, immortal Phil, but he ruined it. He made everyone think that I was weak again, so I have to get my revenge. <sighs> Whatever. Now, come with me and I'll show you how to bring these two back to life. Back to life? Welcome to my laboratory, but we're not going to go in the laboratory, we're going in the back room. Why, why would we go in the back room? I think you know why. Hey, do you want to see a familiar face? Uh, Philly? Sh Sh Schroeder? Why? What? So after he he sacrificed his life so we could be free and we wouldn't be caught, you you keep him with you as some kind of torture. Why don't you just kill him? I need him to spill the information first on why you were with him and what did he tell you. And now I know the secret you guys have and where my two test subjects went. I... Why? What did Philly ever do? He did nothing wrong. Uh, you just blamed him for something that you did wrong. Well, I'll put him out of his misery right now. Wait, no, 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 no. Any last words? Thanks, Schroeder. What? You're just a yellow, big, fat idiot named 69. What could you ever do to me? <laughs> oh. Good thing I know karate. We're gonna make you our slaves. Just because I'm a different color than you, you racist? Yeah, I am. How you feel about it? Oh, that's a little too close. Your mother is a black. My mother's black. I can't. I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> One second. Also, your grandfather and your sister in nine months. Do it, little ducky. Do it. You know where he is? Yeah? Really? No. You asked me the like, same damn question yesterday. <sighs> Get out of my damn face. Ugh. We've checked everywhere. Where do we even go? Well, we haven't looked in the alleyways. The, the alleyways? But they are scary. Yeah, I don't I don't want to go to the alleyways. Do you really care about bow tie? I will do whatever it takes to find my best friend. Alright, then you can go do that yourself. <sighs> you idiots, come on. Are you sure, Parker? <sighs> come on, you big wuss. Huh? Looks like there's nobody here. Nobody? <laughs> Who are you? Oh shit. Uh, um, I'm nobody. He's the Dalut killer. He killed platypus. You, you killed platypus. How, how dare you? I, um, I'm, I'm, uh, this, um, uh, um, I'm gonna kill you too. I'm gonna, you son of a, get out of my house! Okay, okay, we, we won't, we won't tell anyone that you're here. As long as you tell us if 
Do you have anything to do with Bowtie? You see another one of our friends? Bowtie, Bowtie, uh, uh, I have a business partner who always talks about Bowtie, a Bowtie, but I, I don't have anything to do with Bowtie. Hey, what, what's, what's back there? Huh? Um, uh, nothing. It's Platypus's dead body! Uh, uh, right. I, I, I took his body, um, after I killed him. And, alright, I'll give it to you if you promise not to tell anyone that I'm hiding here, okay? Uh, deal. Alright, okay. Platypus? Yeah, he, he, he's 100% dead. Well, maybe we can bring him back to life. Maybe. I don't know. We can. I don't know how to. Your master plan was going to Home Depot. Yeah. Do you even know what ingredient we need to fill up the machine? Uh, no. We need cocaine. How do you think we're gonna find cocaine in Home Depot? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yay! Hello, sir. Huh? Uh, what do you want, kid? Uh, do you have, um, cocaine? Cocaine here? Yeah, hello? Uh, 911? Yeah, there's a kid inside my store, uh, trying to buy cocaine. Alright, you're coming? Alright, thanks. Bye. Hey, kid. Yeah? Uh, just, just wait here for a little bit. Uh, I have a surprise for you coming. <gasps> really? I love surprises. 911, who here is buying cocaine? That would be me, sir. Along with this Norwal and this wood duck. Huh? What? Ethan! Why are the police here? Oh, it's a surprise! <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> you killed him, you piece of shit. My strippers! I love male strippers! I did it! Oh. 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 I did it also! What type of move was that? My special move! You want me to try it on you? No, not... Machine. There it is! Wait, first you have to get through me, you scumbags! I did it! I lived! I lived! You son of a bitch! Stop it! Where am I? Oh, welcome to the back room. So. Couldn't convince convince you to work with me, huh? Won't listen. I'll give you one more chance. And if you don't listen this time, then your friend will stay dead. Okay, fine. 
I'll work with you. Just don't kill anyone else besides whatever you want to do with Bowtie. Just, just leave any everyone else that I like alone. Deal. Onks, put him in the machine. Done. You wanna see? Pins? Oh. oh what what happened? Schroeder? Hey, it's me, Gus. I'm back. <laughs> Look who's here. There. That's your final warning. Now. Bring me to someone who knows who Bowtie is. Hmm. You know, Green Bean Demon? Why? I'm getting really bored of this place. Do you have any fun things we can do? I, what, I, I literally kidnapped you, and you're asking for games we can play together? <sighs> Being kidnapped is boring. No, no, I'm not. No, it's supposed to be torture for you. Well, when is Yasi gonna come? I, I don't know. Just ah, pieces of shit. Ugh. Thanks a lot, Easton. Now we're wanted by the police. Well, that really sucks. Well, how was I supposed to know? I just wanted the surprise party. Oh my god, you, you you are really an idiot, aren't you? Oh, I know where we should go. Where? The barber shop. Wee. Just give me the usual. Oh, you wanted braids? I never said that. Wait, wait, is that is that a knife? <laughs> You don't know how to braid, hit that follow button. Let's go! Shake him, man, shake him! <laughs> wow! Oh, uh, uh, hello. Whoa, Chicken Bone, did your voice get higher? Yeah, because my voice actor can't do my voice anymore. Anyways, what's up, Easton? Well, you know, the usual. Oh. Drugs? <laughs> yeah, 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 I need, I need a pound of them. A pound? We only need a half a pound. Well, the other half is for myself, okay? Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll go, uh, I'll go meet with my, uh, my supplier. Hey, Chicken Bone, are you back for some lemonade? Uh, yeah, yeah, you have any? Yeah, yeah, I gotta grab it from the back. Alright, there you go, man. Now, say my name. You're... You're Chicken Bird. You're goddamn right. Oh, no. The cancer's kicking in. <laughs> Let's go meet up with Yossi. <laughs> Jeez, you guys look a little scuffed up. What happened to you? Well, we got into a, a bit of a, a bar fight. How? Well, damn it! I wish I was like you guys. Instead, we have to go to stupid Home Depot. It was your idea. Okay, it was my idea, but but, but it was but it was Woody's idea. Okay, anyways, you guys you guys got the machine, right? Uh yeah, yeah we did. Alright, we got the field right over here. That's the feel. Can, can I? 
can I have some of it? No, no, the the, the leftover is mine. Okay, fine. How does this thing even work? Oh. Hmm. Green bean dimension. Looks like that was the last one used. Huh. I don't see no start button. I don't really get how to use this thing. But didn't you make it? Wait a second. It says too woody. You didn't even make it. It was given to you. Alright, fine. It was given to my grandpa for, as a gift, and he passed it down to me. Alright? Does that that answers your question? Okay, fine. I don't like liars, so don't lie ever again. So if you don't know how to turn it on, then how do we turn it on? Or how do we figure it out? Well... Well, we could go to my, uh, grandpa's partner's old lab. I think I could track it down. Alright, that sounds good. Mm, Alright, you guys can go... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just go find something to do. Let's go. Oh, hey. Did you guys make any progress? Platypus? What? Where'd you get his body from? Uh, I, I just, uh, I, I just found it on the ground. Yeah. Well, uh, well, if we ever find a way to bring him back to life, then I guess we have him then. Hey guys, uh, find a place to put Platypus's body, okay? Love you, bye. Alright, let's go. Welcome to my laboratory. Wow, it looks like every other damn setting used in the show. <sighs> Let's do the budget cuts. Okay. <gasps> Who are these people? They broke into your lab. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. What the hell, Easton? They're my lab assistants, and you just killed one of them. Anyways, uh, it's stinky, dirty, and you just killed Sweaty. Who, who named you? Why does everyone in this show have such weird names? Besides me, my name's Easton, and that's completely normal. Wait, Easton? We're, we're cousins, remember? Hmm. So that means whoever named us is related, is related to you. So if you're calling whoever named us stupid that means that you're related to someone who's stupid and you're also stupid i don't i don't get what i'm trying to say i'm just trying to you know i don't i don't know i don't i don't get the joke anymore oh cousin i love you cousin i love you very much i'm sorry for killing the other cousin can you track down where this adam on my finger came from it came off a machine that tracks down uh, clues to where boat I may have disappeared to. Okay, we'll make a tracker for it. Eh. Alright, let's go. So, uh, I think we should hide the body. Mm. Oh, I got an idea. We should put camouflage on him so he hides in plain sight and we could just set him on the ground and no one will notice. That's the best idea I've ever heard. Eh. Ooh, that looks good enough. Now we can just set them right here. And you can't even see them. Let's just, 
try putting the fuel inside of the machine. <laughs> Son of a bitch. God damn it. Alright, I'm back with a tracker device, and what the hell just happened? <laughs> oh, hey, Woody. Ah, we were just camouflaging platypus, that's all. Sure, alright. Well, let's go track the, uh, the, uh, um, where this thing came from. So, uh, um, where exactly are we? Well, uh, I think the real name was, like, the Green Bean Dimension or something, but that's how I got the name, the Green Bean Demon. So basically, I had this time-traveling machine, and I, uh, typed in the, my initials, GB, and, uh, the name Green Bean Dimension was the first to pop up, so I pressed click, and then I went there, and then I became this. And then, yeah, like, the story that I told you earlier goes... And then, my uh, new powers, every single time, a big love for green beans. So like, what happened with you and when you got married, uh, whenever a big love of green bean happens, I'm able to go back to the real world and take that person and then eat them! Alright, so why aren't you eating me right now? Well, I'm waiting for your friends to come here. So I can have more to eat because I haven't eaten anything besides green beans for the past, I don't know, half a decade or whatever. Well, that sucks for you. Uh, Alright, where are they? Right in front of us. We should wait until we see Bowtie and then we can just go in and kill them really easily that we have, without having to go through them first. Sure. Does that sound good, Big Schroeder? <sighs> yeah. Alright, who wants to come with me? For Yasu, you can come with and Dylan. No, but I, but I love this stuff. Come on. It leads to here. And for this part of the tour, we have the um, the um, the empty room they used to work in. This seems uh, this seems a. Uh, Really, really cool. I love it so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that funny. Chris. Does anyone know where my stick is? All right, all right. Next part of the tour um, is. Oh, actually, um, that's this is the last part of the tour. So, uh, if you would go back through that hallway, um, and I will lead you back to the main entrance. Thank you. You've been a great audience. Our scams over. We didn't even show many things, just an empty room. Yeah, we didn't even have to give them the information about what happened or how the machine that was stolen works. Huh, of course they turn into some shitty, stupid, shitty, ah, uh, tour thing. What do they mean the machine was stolen? It was given to a gift to my grandpa. Hmm, we should go down there and beat him up to give us information. Yeah! No, what do you, what do you, oh my god, you guys suck. Ooh, the hell? Give us information about what happened. 
Uh, or how the machine works, or is that what we need? Yeah. Yeah, give us information about how the machine works, you stupid, idiot, pretend scientist thing. Well, it would be a lot easier if the machine wasn't, wasn't stolen and it was right here so I could show you. What? I thought Fred Codwell stole a machine. Well, Fred Codwell's my grandpa, and he actually got it as a gift, and then he gave it to me. Well, there's security cameras from when he still worked here, and uh, it looks a lot more like he stole it. Grandpa, screw you. Anyways, let's open it up. What? what the hell happened in here? It's feel for the machine. <laughs> ah. uh, whoever told you that lied because the, uh, the fuel is just like this green liquid and we have some of it here. Grandpa, why do you always lie to me? Anyways, uh, how does it work? Alright, so, you gotta type in the, uh, the, the, uh, um, initials for the dimension you wanna go to. So, right now, the most, uh, the recently used one was the green bean dimension, which, uh, was the one that, uh, Gary Belch went to, if you don't know the history. Oh, I know the history. Alright, so then you would, I wouldn't go to this one. For obvious reasons you would type in the initial whatever whatever and then press enter and that's it and then like a green pipe will pop out and you go inside of it we could have figured that out ourselves woody why do we have to do all this it's a waste of our time all right thanks you know get out of here God damn it. Huh. I think you're ready to go. Alright. Uh, what what's up, Easton? I'm I'm kinda scared. Like I don't wanna do to another one of us. Like like what if we what if we become what happened to platypus? Or what if... What if Bowtie's dead? It's okay. We'll be safe, Easton. Okay. Okay. You three, stay on the outside. Make sure we come back safe, and make sure no one else comes inside the machine. Alright. 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 I think we're ready. There's the pipe. Guess who it is? It's Becky! But, but I'm not here to sell you watermelons today. I want to look back at how this all started. At the pilot. And yes, we're breaking the fourth wall. Uh, just, so just shut up about it. We've gone from the pilot to episode 12 already and it feels like it's gone by so fast and thank all of you guys for watching and supporting the show it's been the best year and like a couple months of my life and selling watermelons and, and, and throwing watermelons at people and pumpkins and it's all been so fun so how about one more, one more commercial before the season ends? This episode was sponsored by Watermelons at Beggy's Watermelons. Beggy's Watermelons since 1985. <sighs> well, 
This looks a lot different than I would think. Cause it looks just like Woody's lab, which we were just dead before. It was due to budget cuts, okay, okay, but, uh, whatever. Um, this place is bigger than I would think. I wonder where Bowtie is. Um, groups, 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 groups. Uh, uh, me, um, Rowlet, and, um, and Yasi will go look over there. Um, Parker, um, Easton, and... You, go look over there. And then you three, uh, go look over there. Alright, bye. What the hell? What? Where did they just go? Hey. Eh, it doesn't matter, let's go down there. Sorry, but you're not going through there. I'm sorry, but uh, who are you? You know who I am. I'm the one who killed Gus Fring. But I'm still alive. He's not talking about you. I am the one who uh, uh, I'm the one who knocks. Does that does that ring a bell? No, 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 it, it doesn't. Aw, oh, you never watched Breaking Bad. Oh. Yeah. But you're not going through there. <laughs> you think that you and these two, the we do you think you can stop me? Uh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> uh, you think I'm gonna lose to that loon? Chicken bone, you don't understand who that is. It's, it's the Duluth killer! You're not gonna kill another one of my friends, you son of a bitch. Oh, you're Platypus's friend, huh? You know what I did with his body? I recreated your stupid YouTube videos and I would kill him over and over again. How does that make you feel? Police, please! Oh shit. Are you okay, sir? Or brother? Because we're related. Finally, we got the Duluth Killer. Your execution's gonna be great. Where the hell are we? <laughs> There's nothing in this cave. <laughs> ah! What is that thing? <laughs> It looks like a, a can of green beans with a mouth. <coughs> ah, what the fuck? <coughs> I think I killed it. <sighs> this place is weirder than I thought. <coughs> Whoa, there's 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 creatures in this dimension. Look. Whoa, he he, he looks weird. Fuck. <coughs> fuck you. Oh no, no fuck you, you stupid piece of shit. <coughs> uh, that was weird. Yeah, you know, I can't wait for this to go back to normal. Me, you, Bowtie, Platypus, and Baby, all making videos together, having fun. No one, no one was dead, no one hated each other. It was just simple fun. <sighs> Me too, Brown. 
you know, I I miss talking to you. I I'm sorry for for that. I'm sorry for being the reason for all of this. I never wanted all of this to happen. I just I just wanted to be famous. I wanted people to like me instead of being instead of being bullied at school every single day. I wanted to be popular. It's okay. I wanted that too. Just you know, maybe next time don't invite serial killers into our competitions. <sighs> All right, I won't. Hmm. This place is really weird. It's like a stupid, shitty backrooms level. Yeah. What are you pointing at, Sponsor Normal? I see- I see Bowtie, look! Huh? Hey, hey Bowtie! Huh? What? What? What's up? Your friends are here! No! No, 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 you're, you're joking, right? Wait, those aren't my friends? Oh, Bowtie! Where are you? Shut up. What if there's like some kind of monster out here like the legends say? You know that shit's not true. Or where is he? Shut the hell up, Gus. Wait, that that's Punk Sonny Phil and what? Schroeder? What? I mean, one of those are my friends, but the other two are enemies of mine. Hmm, maybe they're looking to kill you like I am. But I'm the only one who can kill you. And I'll kill them too. Okay, 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 jeez, Jesus. Oh shoot. Look, look. Let's get out of here before they see us. So we can do our sneak attack. You should go look for the others and tell them about that scary monster. Uh, sure, yeah. Guys, guys! Huh? Wh where's, uh, yeah, yeah, um, um, Yasi, uh, Rowlett, and Woody? Uh, they're over there still. Go get them. I have something important to say. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Another scary monster! Oh, uh, there's Easton. Oh, never mind, he's just crying. <sighs> hey guys, uh, Red Yoshi wants you, he found something important. Oh, okay. Let's go, guys. What's the problem? Alright, so, um, you can't see him from right here, but I saw Bowtie. He's up on that mountain, and I could, uh, I could get a good view of him when I was all the way back there. What? Like, like, what, like, what was he doing? He was like being held hostage by like a yellow demon thing. Oh. <sighs> Gary Belch. I am so confused on what they're talking about. Me too, but sounds like Bowtie's already been being held hostage. Maybe we can uh, partner up with them. Yeah, 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 sounds good. Alright, me and Yasi will go try to bring him down here. Alright, sounds good. Let's go. Look, Bowtie. Here they come. Yasi? Woody? Bowtie, we're here to save you! Go, 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 go! I'm gonna eat all of you! You're all gonna die! You're all gonna die! Ready, 
Yoshi! You really think you can take on me? Ha! 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 Look who it is! It's, uh, it's you guys! What are you here for? Schroeder? Do it. I'm sorry, Bowtie. <laughs> no! <gasps> Bowtie! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh. <sighs> all of you, you're all gonna die. God damn it. Oh, you son of a. Die. Okay, okay, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, see, it's okay, okay. Now we just have to take down the... Gary. <laughs> Your friend, Bowtie. He was delicious. And so will you! Don't worry, Yasi, I'll, I'll get him. Die, die, die! There goes three of your friends. When are you gonna learn? When are you gonna learn? <laughs> Don't worry, Yossi, I'll, I'll get him. Die, die, die! <laughs> there goes three of your friends. When are you gonna learn? When are you gonna learn? <laughs> Run! Can't retreat. We have to fight back. You can't kill my friends! <laughs> Alright, I'll kill him. They taste so good. Way better than green beans. <laughs> So, who's gonna go next? I'm just waiting. Waiting. I can wait. I don't know when go. I don't wanna lose another one of you. Please, 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 don't kill us. I don't, I don't know what to say. Yasi, no, no, you're gonna get killed. It's okay. I understand. It's not your fault, Gary. What? You aren't... This isn't you. It's just... This dimension took over you. I know you're better than this. It's okay. What are you doing? Stop! 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 <laughs> 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 Hey. 
He... He's dead! <coughs> C congrats, kid. You won. Here. Uh, take this book. It will help you. <sighs> we won, guys. It's okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> How did you do that, Yazi? <laughs> you you saved us. Oh, ow, my neck! Oh, sponsor Norwal. Oh, ow, oh, oh, ow! That was not supposed to happen. You were supposed to lose. You were all supposed to die. Besides me. Uh, how are you speaking? I, th I thought you couldn't speak. Well, it's all been a lie. I've been part of a group. And I've been following this god named Fixin. Or what he likes to be called now, the heir. You... We're supposed to die to the Green Bean Demon. That was the plan. He's also part of the group. He was supposed to... Ugh. I never win. I never get noticed by any of you. I'm, I'm gonna... God! Ugh! <coughs> <sighs> oh, this day's been too much. Thank you, Chicken Bone. Oh, if you thought that was too much, there's something going on back in the R dimension. Shortly after Sponsor Narwhal's death, the ducks arrived back in Duckburg to witness the arrest of the Duluth killer. The ducks stayed away from each other for a while to cope with the loss of their friends until they reunited today to talk about the gift from the Green Bean Demon. All right, so it's been a while, but I think it's finally time to go over the book that Gary gave to us. All right, so uh, start reading it. If you find this book, you've been selected to be the leader of the cult of Fixin. Fixin was a god who tried to do his own thing until God banished him to his own personal hell. Your job is to, is to tell others about the cult to lead my army during the return to Earth. Step one, awake the dead. Use my ritual to bring back the dead alive so we can have an infinite amount of members. How to do the totem. To do the ritual, you need the totem of fixin' to retrieve. Wait for an important member of the cult to die, then set up the ritual like this. Then sing the chant. More about that later. The soul of the body will go into the sky and the totem will appear where the body once lay. And you will have the totem. Step two. The ritual. Set up like this. Then sing this chant. 
Kumbaya, Kumbaya. Repeat until you get what you want. This chant will be used in every ritual. Step two, the wish, the wish rule. The totem grants an infinite amount of wishes. Set up the same. Sacri sacrifices for one fixing till I return. Sacrifice people for me. Try to grant gifts. I must post five viral videos on a site called YouTube to do f what? This doesn't make any sense. Wait a second, guys. I think I know someone who's done like this ritual to bring people back to life before. Uh, who? The fatties. Hey, hey, Fuzzy. Uh, yeah. Remember the um, last to leave your area of space challenge we did a, a while ago. Um, yeah. You were on the you were the leader for the team, the fatties, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you did like this ritual to bring Bailey back from the dead. Oh yeah. Uh, do you have any information on that? Oh yeah, yeah, I do. So there's this group called the Cult of Fixin. Yeah, yeah, we already know what that is. Okay, well, my father was in the cult, and he had these like rituals to bring people back to life, and whatever, whatever. He basically, I found out about it, and so I know how to do the rituals and stuff. You, you should have told us this sooner. Oh, cause of the deaths recently. Uh, yeah. Whatever, just, can you bring us the totem? Oh, yeah, yeah, I will. So, with the whole, you can only bring back a handful of people at a time thing, who do we bring back first? Well, I think we should bring back Platypus for sure, since he's been dead the longest. Then, it's kind of important for Red Yoshi and Leafy to come back, because, uh, you know, tomorrow is when they have to, um, fly back to Alabama, like, you know, because they came in for episode 9, they have to go back soon. Yeah, yeah, we should do that. But what about Bowtie? Don't we care about Bowtie? We'll bring him back the next batch. I miss him too. Alright, we haven't decided then. Kumbaya, 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 kumbaya. I'm 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 back. Yasi Woody Parker Rowlet Easton where, where's where's everyone else? They're also dead. But don't worry, don't worry, we're gonna bring them back too. Alright, alright. Kumbaya, 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 Kumbaya. I'm. Easton. It's okay, Leafy. It's all okay now. You're back. <laughs> Thank you guys. How did you guys do it? We did the ritual. It doesn't matter how you did it. Kumbaya, 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 kumbaya. Um, <laughs> I 
missed you so much, but I'm so sorry for what happened. It's okay. Doogie?